Hey everybody, welcome back. This is assert within range for the testing section of module 2. And so far we've done assert equal for scalars, assert arrays equal for arrays of scalars, assert objects equal and object with scalar values, and now we're going to do assert within range, which is going to have four parameters, low, high, actual, and then a test name. So essentially what we're doing is we're going to... Finally, test name will be a string and should describe what a call to assert objects equal. That's ridiculous. Well, that's an error, so we'll correct that hopefully. Um, but on to what that should actually say, which is assert within range. So anyway, uh, give me a number between 1 and 5. Let us first assume you mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, cool. So uh, assert within range. So the blackjack score should be between 4 and 21. So assert within range has a low and then a high and then an actual. And then it's going to tell us whether the blackjack score is valid. Same thing for a die roll. And then for a failure case, they want the price to be between 1 and 100, it's 101, and then it's going to fail with a very specific message, not within range, all that good stuff. So we're going to go back to Replit for this one. Uh, there's the assert arrays equal one from previously. Check out that video if you'd like to. So we're going to do a couple things. First, we're going to grab our assert within range stub. We're going to put it here. Then we're going to grab all of our test cases. and our die roll and our price. So essentially what we're going to do is first we'll need to check to make sure that actual is greater than or equal to low and less than or equal to high. So that's going to be relatively straightforward. If actual is greater than or equal to low and actual is less than or equal to high, meaning it is within the range that we want it to be within, then we're going to console.log looks like passed. Otherwise, we are going to want to put out a specific message which is fail. Uh, price should be between, so that's the test name, and I think that this can work. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy this. We're going to write a console.log message log, console.log, okay, console.log, there we go. And then we're going to put this in there. Now, what you can actually do is we're going to highlight this. We're going to hit quotes, so I'll put quotes around it, delete it, hit two pluses, and then put whatever variable we wanted in between there. Now, you may be thinking, hey, there's a thousand other ways to do that. Why are you doing it this way? And no real reason. The idea for these videos is to see as many versions of this as you can at least using some of the most rudimentary skills that you have. Now what we just did actually doesn't work inside of here, so don't try to do it inside of here. But if you're inside of Replit, it will work. So it's going to make the uh, quote situation a little bit easier because 101 is the actual value. So if we highlight it, hit quotes around it, plus plus, and then actual, we've now put actual in there with the appropriate quotations around it. And then not within range 1 to 100, so 1 and 100 are the issues. So we need to highlight 1, put quotes, delete it, plus plus, and that's going to be the low value. And same thing for 100. 100 is the high value. So we'll highlight that, hit quotes, delete, plus plus, and we'll put that as the high. And plus an empty string with quotes here. Theoretically, you don't need any of that. You could probably just delete everything here. But since I was following that same methodology of highlighting the area that you want to replace with a, with a variable, hitting quotes, which will like put quotes around it, which will then kind of remove that value from, as you saw, it kind of removes it from the string. And then you replace that with two pluses, one to the first part of the string and one to the second. And then in between, you put the variable. So now that we've done this, we should run it and see if passed, passed, and then fail, price should be between 1 and 100. And remember, this one is fail without the like past tense. And the reason is just to make sure that you guys are paying attention. Just to make sure that y'all are paying attention. Anyway, let's go ahead and run this. And we see passed, passed, fail, price should be between 1 and 100. 101, in quotes, is not within range 1 to 100. That's exactly what the message should look like. So now that we have that, let's copy this, move back to the area where the question is, highlight it all, paste in our correct version, go down to run tests, run the tests, see they're correct, celebrate, shake hands with somebody that you respect for accomplishing something important, and we'll see you in the next video.